I'm Tyler Cheek. I'm the new math teacher at the high school. I'll be teaching Algebra 2 and Geometry. Hi, I'm Haley Coulter and I'm a 2015 graduate of Grants Pass and I'm now back here and I'm the new PE teacher. My name is Haley Roth and I'm going to be the new science teacher here at the high school. Hey, I'm Lewis Norfleet. I'm the new band director here at Grants Pass High School. I'm actually an alum of the high school. I graduated in 92. Really happy to be back home. I'm Lindsay Lloyd. I'm a new English teacher here at Grants Pass High School. Hi, my name is Emily Suda and I am the new Career Center Assistant. Hi, I'm Michelle Thomas. I'm the new bookkeeper here at Grants Pass High School. Hello everyone, I'm Jason Garcia. I'm the new Dean of Students this year. I've been in the Grants Pass High School District for 20 years plus and I've been the band director here and at North Middle School, but I'm looking forward to this new gig and uh, excited, excited to be up here. I'm Mrs. Napier and I've been teaching here since 1999, so 21 years. This is year 22 and I am taking a new role and I'm going to be the new vice principal in charge of curriculum and instruction. Hi, I'm Miss Watson and I have been at Grants Pass High School for the last six years as a English teacher. Uh, this year my new role will be the Freshman Success Coordinator, so I won't be in a classroom but I'll be down in the Counseling Center. A hot dog is definitely a sandwich. It's got two pieces of bread and some, some stuff in between them. So yes, it's a sandwich to me. Yes. Why? Because there is bread on each side. It's not a sandwich because the hot dog isn't smashed in between two pieces of bread. It, it can like get out easily. That's why. Well. It's meat inside of two pieces of bread, so I'm gonna go with, yeah, that's a sandwich. Uh, no, because it's not on traditional bread slices of bread. Absolutely, it is meat in between two slices of bread, which is the prerequisite for a sandwich. Huh? No, and it's a carnival food, and I would say you don't usually buy sandwiches at the carnival. Ah, it is not a sandwich. It's not a sandwich because why? That's a good question. Oh man, uh, I, I don't see it as a sandwich be because it's not real meat. How about that? No, because I wouldn't consider hot dog lunch meat. Not. Such a great argument here and I'm gonna go with yes because I think it has the elements of every piece of a sandwich you need. Bread, a filling, and potentially condiments. One that comes to mind is probably Snow White. It's a very, that, that Disney movie always horrified me. Very scary to me. Nemo, because I don't want to get abandoned by my parents. <laughs> <laughs> my goodness, all of them. They all have such a sad ending. And when you watch it as an adult, you just see so much more of the sadness. Uh, Alice in Wonderland. That was a trip, man, for anybody. Anyone watching that guy? I don't know. I don't have any, man. I've watched a lot of children's movies, though. I'm not saying I watch them all the time, <laughs> but they don't. They haven't scarred me. I would say Dumbo, because having a baby and watching the mommy elephant carry, you know, try and snuggle her baby elephant was just devastating. <laughs> Snow White, uh, the witch. I don't look at apples the same way. Just never have. Snow White probably. It's a little disturbing. <laughs> Cutting out her heart. It's a little extreme. Maybe not a movie, but a uh, children's TV show like Barney or SpongeBob. My son was never allowed to watch any of those because they were so annoying. So a goofball and a wing nut and a knucklehead mixed up. What? <laughs> What's going on here? But most of all, I'm. Hey, settle down. I'm... Take it easy. I'm... What the scallop? I'm Goofy Goober! I just saw Up, and I cried so hard, and I was very angry that I was made to watch it. I was very upset about it. I feel like 
cats would definitely be the rudest. Definitely the cats I've had in my life, yeah. Cats, because they're just always mean all the time. Oh, cats, for sure. They have a terrible attitude. I'm gonna go with cats on that. I'm a dog person, but I think cats, I don't know. If we heard what they were really thinking, I think uh, it wouldn't go very well. A cat, they're snarky. They have that look on their face. Cats, they're, they're rude without talking. I think they would just, <laughs> I think Everybody, we all know that they're thinking. Probably a badger, right? They're pretty mean all the time and stay away. I feel birds, like crows are just rude already. A hyena. Because they're just not nice animals. They're scavengers. I think I think cat's the obvious answer. I really want a different one than that because I think that that's the obvious one. I'm going to go with um, a butterfly. I think it will is easily offended. Maybe a couple hundred. That seems reasonable. Maybe. Maybe not. Um. Probably like uh, 50-ish, okay. a lot. <laughs> uh, probably just one with a strong beak, just like keeps going, very persistent, doesn't give up. A hundred. I feel like one, if it just went straight up the trunk, could get, get an elephant in real trouble, I think. Just one. I don't think it could happen. <laughs> They'd step on it. <laughs> One, if it was to choke on it, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> None, because the elephant would squish them all. 4,276.